What's good with y'all boys, man? Today I got a special video for y'all as y'all can see from the thumbnail of title. I ain't gonna lie, this video is a little different. This is my first DIY, but as y'all can see from the thumbnail of title, I ain't gonna be showing y'all today's video on how to crop your hoodie. Now I'm pretty sure everybody know what a crop it is because it's literally been like the style and the trend for like a little minute. But if y'all don't know what a crop it is, here's like some examples. As you can see at the bottom, there's literally no like, you know what goes at the bottom of the hoodie. But as y'all can see right here, y'all seen it in, um, uh, y'all seen, I'm pretty sure y'all seen multiple people wear it and y'all see me wear it. But, uh, here's another example, like I said, crop hoodie. Y'all see how it's cropped at the bottom? Let me get a little closer. But, yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to do that. But, before we get in today's video, I want to let y'all know that, bro, we're so close to 2,000 subscribers. Y'all can keep hitting that sub button, liking the videos, and uh, showing support. I highly appreciate it, bro. Like, y'all do not understand. 2,000 is a lot of people. Just imagine the 2,000 people were standing in my house or in my room. But, but yeah, like I said, I ain't really gonna talk your heads off or hold y'all for too long. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this tutorial. But I'm pretty sure everybody know what it is because I have a lot and I've showed them in most of my videos, like my hoodie collections, recent pickups, and everything like that. So if you don't know what a crop hoodie is today, um, you're gonna you're gonna find out if you don't. But but yeah, I ain't really gonna talk your heads off or hold y'all for too long. With that being said, let's hop into today's video. Now from the other videos that I've been seeing on um, people like uh, show, trying to show people how to crop their hoodies, they've been using the multiple materials and multiple tools in this video all you are going to need today is literally scissors y'all you're gonna need scissors like you can only use scissors but and you can use a crochet needle like i said because the crochet needle is like a sharp end and the scissors that's what you're gonna be doing using the cut but like the other materials and stuff you don't necessarily really need all that like all that is really unnecessary that's like if you want to go really in depth and like to detail and make everything perfect but all you're really doing is just cutting this part right here and then boom, you really basically done. But I'm gonna be showing y'all what you can, uh, you can really, like I said, all you really need is a crochet needle or something, not a crochet needle, but some scissors and something sharp. Now you could use a knife instead of a crochet needle, but like I said, I'm gonna be showing y'all the easiest way and ways that I did and, um, and everything like that. Now, like I said, I have got some examples that I did before. Now I didn't do that hoodie that I showed y'all earlier, the white hoodie, because that already had came like that. But this is a hoodie that I did before and it came out pretty good. As y'all can see, the strings and everything come out the bottom. But, yeah, like I said, this is the hoodie that I'm going to be using today. I'm pretty sure everybody know what this hoodie is, Euphoric.777. Now, I've showed this in my recent pickups and, like, other videos like that. I'm going to be using this in today's video because I don't really wear this hoodie as much. But, yeah, like I said, as you can see right there, this is the part that you're going to be cutting. Now, like I said, uh, you don't necessarily need all the materials. So, I'm going to uh, go ahead and set the camera up and show y'all how to crop this hoodie. And yeah, let's hop straight into it. All right, after you get your hoodie um, straightened out and you get your scissors. Now, like I said, scissors is really the only thing that you need. But you're going to want to cut... Um, straight on the line that i'm finna start right here as y'all can see as you can see right here i'm going to be cutting um, right here throughout the whole time so like i said you don't really need a crochet needle to, uh, or anything like that now you can use the crochet needle or something sharp if you want to bring the strings out like i said i didn't use that in today's video but let me know if y'all want a part two or anything like that and i get it out for y'all but yeah y'all just keep cutting along the uh, hoodie and yeah that's what all you really gotta do Now the only part that's really hard and difficult, well it's not really as difficult, but you really have to cut hard depending on what scissors you is because how thick the hoodie is, but that all really depends on what hoodie you choose. But as y'all know, the hoodie that I got right here is thick, so it is probably going to take longer than usual, but it really depends on what scissors and what hoodie you um, got. So uh, like I said, I was, it was taking me a little minute because the hoodie is thick, so I had to really cut hard, like like real hard. But as y'all can see, I'm almost done. Yeah, I'm going to get back to y'all after I'm done. Also, just to make sure, keep flipping your hoodie on both sides to see if um, both sides are even. Because you don't want to cut on the first, like on the front side, it would make it seem like you're cutting like perfectly. But on the back side, it would just be all uneven. So keep flipping your hoodie to see if everything is even so you don't have to restart or, you know what I'm saying.
after you're done cutting your hoodie, make sure you flip your hoodie inside out or you uh, flip your hoodie on the back side to see if everything is even like I just said. So you can see if anything messed up because you don't want a messed up crop hoodie or that shit gonna look goofy and uneven when you wear it. But just keep flipping it inside out and flipping it on the back side of it. Now that you're done getting your scissors and cutting everything out, hold on, before I even continue, a crop hoodie and a crop top is two differences. A crop top is literally, you know what a crop top is, but as you can see, as you um, get done with cutting it out, as you can see right here, you have a perfect crop. Now, like I said, if y'all know what a crop hoodie is, but y'all y'all sleeping now, leave that shit, that shit hard. But as you can see, oh shit, as you can see on the this Nomo, you can go ahead and throw that away. But let me show y'all. A little quick detail as y'all can see right there it is perfect as hell now you can use the crochet needle or something else to go in deeper and like get all the, the the stitching in out to make it look way more cleaner but just for the sake of this video i'm going to be just showing y'all how to crop it so like i said as y'all can see that is what it look like now i'm gonna try it on for y'all and show what it look like on body yeah As y'all can see, this is what it looked like on body. Now you can just see like, the, like how perfect the crop is. Like I said, you don't really need much. Like you, all you really need is scissors, like I said. But yeah, like I said, here is the hoodie, the final result. Now, if you do want to go more in depth with like the crochet needle or something sharp, you can pull the strings out and then make like the strings hangy, that little vintage and tough look. But to just for the sake of this video, I was just showing y'all how to crop it. And yeah, it, this hoodie just look overall way better so I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna start wearing this now. Uh, probably get this shit a little way better, but yeah, like I said, here is what it look like on body. So y'all can see, you got one more 360. It fits. It just sits straight down. Like look how perfect it look. Like that, but. Right, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. I really hope y'all enjoyed that little tutorial. Now, if this video was not too long, I apologize. But and like I said, you didn't really need as much as materials as the other people be saying. But all you really needed was your um uh, some scissors. Now everybody got scissors somewhere in their house. So yeah, like I said, all you really needed was scissors and just cut along the part that I showed y'all. But yeah, uh, let me know if y'all want more tutorials on DIYs like this. Like I said, this was my first one. So if it wasn't as perfect as y'all want it to be, I apologize. But yeah, like I said, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so y'all can be notified when I upload. Make sure y'all follow me on all my social, especially my Instagram, because that's where I communicate with my subscribers the most. And you know, this video is going to drop before I actually drop. Y'all put down in the comments what videos y'all want to see, and I'll definitely get them out and get them out for y'all because, like I said, I'm on my consistent shit. I have not missed one upload this week. So now y'all finna be the flies nigga at school if y'all didn't know how to, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna uh, hold y'all heads or talk y'all heads off for too long. With that being said, I'm out.